Hello everyone, this is Angel Geraldez, and I am in charge of Alejo's fantasy department. Today I have a very interesting video, since I will explain a different way to apply the shifters, so I recommend watching this video. The first step is to prime the mini. I use Surface Primer Gloss Black, which I applied in two or three layers. Now I will apply the base color. I will use silver from the model air color range. I add some drops on the plastic blister, and also some drops of airbrush thinner. Mix well to achieve good dilution so the airbrush doesn't get clogged. I will use the Infinity CR Plus with a 0.15 millimeter needle and pressure at 1.8 bar. I put the mixture in the airbrush, test it, paint flow must be thin, and it's ready. Shut up and, sit down. and now I'll apply thin layers. I press the trigger down and back very softly to apply thin coats. I tilt the figure a little so the paint hits the highest areas and does not enter the recesses. I keep covering the surface very softly. The more layers you apply, the color becomes more intense. Here you can see the final result of how I applied the base color. Now I will apply tones with the new colors, the shifters. I put the color inside the airbrush, and I will apply tones in certain parts. This color has a green-violet tone. And the process is the same. I press the trigger a little bit down, a little bit back, and I apply thin layers. This way, the base color will change when applying this tone. This is a different way to apply the new colors, the shifters. And as I always say, go slowly. Apply thin layers to control the process. You see that little by little, this tone is already noticeable. Now I will apply a second tone with light violet green. I put the color in the airbrush. I apply this color in the same areas as in the previous step, with thin layers. Thus, little by little, the color changes, and the metallic base color will have some different tones. Depending on how the light hits it, it will change. So you can see it's another way to use the new colors, the shifters.
You see that when I turn the figure, the color changes. Here you can see the final result of applying this tone. Final tone that I will apply to the armor. The same process, I put the color in the airbrush and apply thin layers. If you notice it gets clogged, you can add some drops of thinner. And as you can see, the base metallic color of the Necron is already changing and has many tones. And as you can see, the process is super simple. I apply some of the shifter colors to the armor, and the colors shift depending on how the light hits it. It has green, violet. We are painting an unusual Necron. Here you can see the final result. How the color shifts depending on how the light hits. Now I will apply a black wash to all the gaps and recesses of the figure, so I will get definition on all the armor plates. I will use black wash from the wash range. It's so easy. I take a little bit of paint, rest it in the recess, and drag it. As the paint is more diluted than normal, paint flows better through all the gaps. So, in a few minutes, we will add definition to the whole surface. A tip, apply the wash and let it dry, then repeat. Here you can see the final result. With a couple of passes, you get perfect definition. Now, I will add some tones with these colors with the brush. I will use violet from Game Color, also sepia wash and red wash from the wash range. And the process is very simple. I take a little paint, and apply these tones to certain parts of the armor. Notice the armor already has a lot of tones. Reds, greens, violets, super cool. I apply, for instance, some red and sepia tones on the face. Violet, too. I play with all of these colors. The truth is that playing with the tones creates a lot of possibilities. Here, you can see the final result. As you can see, the process is super simple. And finally, with aluminium from Model Air, I will apply highlights. Without adding any water to this color, I take a little paint and apply it to the edges. 
So, I will get greater definition between each armor plate. We will use a fine brush for this step. As you can see, it's super simple. We take some paint and slowly paint the edges. Use the side of the brush so it's much easier to paint the edges. We apply some highlights on the shoulder pads, on the forearms, to define them more. Don't forget the feet! We give it a couple touches of highlight. And here is the final result. As you have seen, the process is super simple, and if you are gamers, this method is great. Apply a base color, then tones, and finally, definition. Here you can see more examples. Let me know in the comments any questions you might have. What did you think of this way of applying tones? I would like to know your opinion, so comment below. I encourage you to subscribe to this channel to know about any future news. See you in the next video!